As Buddha said, it's better to travel well than to arrive. Click subscribe and the bell below and come along for more adventures. Time for more transportation tips, specifically Greyhound bus travel tips. A quick note to start off, this video is not sponsored by Greyhound. More and more people are traveling domestically due to recent events impacting the economy, foreign government restrictions, and global health issues. I expect bus travel to become more popular in this environment. Greyhound is the most common and well-known bus operator, and there are ways of making sure you have a better experience traveling with them. Greyhound bus can be a very cost-effective method of ground travel. As air travel security and health measures become more of a hassle, bus travel has become a more attractive option lately. If you're not traveling too far, it can be a more efficient and comfortable way to travel than air travel, and that's not to mention much cheaper than air or train travel. So I'll go over my top 10 tips right now. While I'm focusing on Greyhound, many of these tips will be applicable to other bus lines too. Sure, it's disappointing when you can't travel the world for whatever reason, but that doesn't mean there isn't an abundance of interesting things to see in your backyard, wherever that backyard is. Greyhound now services the USA, Canada, and Mexico, so you have an endless number of options. At this time, destinations are more limited in Canada and Mexico, but hopefully more will continue to be added. Be sure to check on current entry requirements to visit any foreign country and be prepared so you're not turned away at the border. Tip number one, buy your ticket early. Buy your ticket as early as possible. For some stations, you'll receive a boarding number on your ticket and boarding will be permitted in order based on your number. Lower numbers or those sold further in advance will receive boarding priority and have a chance to score a better choice of seat. Not all stations do this, but it's worth a shot in case you get one that does. Tip number two, save money on your ticket. Prices are lower if you can book three weeks in advance when you can save a quarter or even more off the full price of the ticket. If you can't, then it may help to at least book two weeks in advance, which is still better than last minute. Whatever you do, don't wait until you get to the station. Book your trip midweek if possible. Prices are lower if you can hop on on hump day. Note that discounts are available if you are a member of Student Advantage or Veteran Advantage. Go to Discount Options when making your reservation to choose this discount. Finally, do a search for promo codes. There's a good chance you can score an additional discount that way. You'll have a chance to enter the code before submitting payment. And remember, there's a surcharge to gift a ticket to someone else. If at all possible, the traveler should be the one to pay for the ticket. Tip number three, arrive to the station early. Give yourself plenty of time to check in and find your bus. It will mean a less stressful trip for you if you're not hustling. And those that arrive first can line up and board first if the station does not board by ticket number as described earlier. Your bus may already have seated passengers on it if your station is a stop along another route, making this even more important if you want a good choice of seats. Tip number four, managing your luggage. Note that you're allowed two pieces of luggage at no additional charge, one checked bag up to 50 pounds and one carry-on that will fit in the overhead compartment. Avoid placing fragile items in the checked bag. Disturbance of bags due to potholes and bumps is not unlikely. Be careful about leaving your carry-on luggage on the bus when you disembark on brakes and keep your eye on your bags at the stations. Don't create a temptation for thieves. Instructions for claiming luggage at different stations varies. Listen to the driver for directions each time you disembark. Place an identifiable marker on your luggage, such as a brightly colored tag, to help distinguish it from other suitcases that may be identical or similar in brand and color. Tip number five, hold on to your ticket. You will be able to print out a ticket or pick it up at the well call at the station or have your digital ticket sent to your mobile device. Keep your ticket through the entire trip you may need it to change buses and collect your luggage en route and at your destination. 
Tip number six, stay comfortable on the bus. If you need an outlet for your electronic devices, try to get a seat towards the front. Not all seats have outlets. Free Wi-Fi is available on the bus. Keep in mind it may not work 100% of the time. Travel pillows and blankets can be a welcome comfort on overnight trips, both on the bus and during long station transfers. Make sure you set an alarm on your cell phone to wake yourself up for the next stop, just in case. Finally, try to limit your restroom breaks to the bus stations and rest areas if possible. You will find them cleaner and more pleasant to use. And don't forget to pack some snacks. Whatever you bring will probably be cheaper than anything you can find at the rest stops and bus stations. Tip number seven, stay safe on the bus. It's safer to sleep on the bus than in the stations. People are less likely to give you any trouble with the bus driver and other passengers so nearby. You may be more isolated in the station, particularly at night. That said, having a seat closer to the front will keep you closer to the driver for added safety. Keep your purse, cell phone, and wallet in a safe place. You don't want to have a phone loosely in your hand and inadvertently fall asleep on the bus or be walking around the station with a wallet in your back pocket. Keep your guard up and protect your valuables. If you really want to be on the safe side, invest in a money belt to store these in. I recommend the belt that I link to below in the description. Tip number eight, stay healthy on the bus. The most important of my Greyhound bus travel tips may be to be conscious of your health. Remember to wash your hands frequently and carry hand sanitizer. Avoid touching your face. Window seats are the best for minimizing contact for many potentially infected people since you'll be keeping your distance from people traversing the aisle and standing in the aisle managing their carry-ons. It's also a good idea to carry along a small first aid kit. If you buy a pre-assembled kit, you'll want to take an inventory before your trip to see if there's any additional medicines or products you'd like to add. I always like to make sure I have some headache and antihistamine tablets. Also, make sure you get up and get some exercise during breaks. Tip number nine, download the app. With the Greyhound app, you can have easy access to your trip information, station location, and track your bus and transfer bus locations. And if your bus is running late and you may miss your transfer, you can find out when the next one is and make a bolt for the ticket window at the station to reserve a seat on that next bus before it fills up potentially minimizing transfer time. Other customers may be clamoring to make the same alternate arrangements as you, in which case that next bus might fill up fast. Tip number 10, join Road Rewards. Join Road Rewards on the Greyhound.com website. It's free to join and you can earn rewards like 15% off your ticket, companion pass for a friend, and 10% off food at Greyhound stations for watching. Hope these tips will help you out on your next bus travels. Smash like, subscribe.